Hi. Let's assume we've got a form. How do we put controls onto it? And indeed, which controls? Well, what we're going to do is put some radio buttons on this control. Uh, control, sorry, on this form. There's my first. And there's my second. And here's my third. I could put these into a panel if I wanted to. I'm just going to keep them as simple radio buttons. If we run this, we see that the radio buttons are not what we call grouped. What we mean is this. It's very easy to see what we mean. They're acting like checkboxes. They're not mutually exclusive choices. That's no good at all. So how do we make them mutually exclusive choices? Well, one way is a button group. It's so popular that it actually exists as a library. So that's what we're going to do. How do we do that? Well, we first of all need to go to our source. And we need to create a, a button group. The button group is, as I say, a library, so we can actually import it. And that's what we're doing. An import goes just around about the same place as the package, so I'll just um, copy this, paste this in here. And it says import Java X swing button group. And so now we're going to use it because it's not currently used. How do we do that? Well, we need to actually create a method. And the method will be put in above the main function, but below the constructor. So somewhere about here. Well, here's the code. It's a private void, so that means it's a method that is not a function, and it's called group button, and it's create a button. We'll create a button group, bg1 button group one, instantiating it. Then that group has added to it the first radio button, then the second, then the third. These are the default names. Had we changed the names, we'd have to change these names. And off we see we have to call group button. We do that inside the constructor. So we just do group button here. Call it. Because it's private, there's no problem. And it's being called inside its own class. Well, that's why that's private. Now when we run this, I'll just save it first, then we run it. We have what we had before, but this time they're mutually exclusive. Now there's a little bit more on radio buttons that we need to know, which is how to use them. But that is how to get radio buttons in exclusive mode. So have a look at the next tutorial to find out how you can actually use them in an interface.